Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install drives in the Thunder Bay 4 Mini external Thunderbolt enclosure. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. First, we're going to need to open the Thunder Bay. On the front of the enclosure is a lock. Find the small bag with the keys inside and use one to unlock the drive bay door. Then pull the door forward and lift it up and out of the Thunder Bay. Inside you'll find four bays, each with a drive carrier inside. Remove these carriers by pulling them straight out of the bay. The Thunder Bay 4 Mini takes 2.5 inch drives, both platter based and solid state, and you can mix and match them however you like. In this installment though, we'll be installing four solid state drives. For each carrier, make sure that the outer hook is facing up, then align the drive so that the SATA connector is facing outside and down. There's a bag of Phillips screws that comes with the Thunder Bay. Use these screws to attach the drive to the carrier via the two mounting holes on each side. Then, repeat the process for the other drives you wish to install. In each of the drive bays, there's a channel toward the right. With the hook on the front facing the left, slide each carrier into their bay until it is seated fully. Once you have the drives installed, you can replace the front door. There are two tabs on the bottom of the door. Place these tabs in the slots on the bottom of the case. Lift the door up and lock it to hold it in place. You can now hook up your Thunder Bay and set up your drives as you normally would. 